Hello guys, Mikjib here. Welcome back to another slime is game memory. Oh wow, we finally have a battle Xion. Yes, if you haven't seen or watched the previous month, we haven't had a battle Xion for the longest time. The only thing she has is the protector EX uh, for the new blessing, and I think there are more. I think I don't really remember, but this is her first battle form, so really happy. And yeah, this dress looks really nice on her, really good. Though I have not seen the anime, so it's kind of small, smaller for me, but who cares? Uh, it's some, so it's something related to her playing a music. I mean, I think I'm um, two episodes behind. Oh, wait. There's one episode coming right today. So I'm like three episodes behind so far, but I will try to catch up. But anyway, this is her first EX form really happy and we're gonna have a look at her kit her battle skills and also have a look at battle animation and talk more about the protector of peace if I can summon or not not only that we just had a recent uh, unit which is Hinata she was released three four days ago right so yeah I guess it's because they were kind of late with Hinata and had to rush it I mean we have her Blee in a week from now and the end the meta gonna end in two weeks less than two weeks so yeah they have to rush it i guess but yeah hey more content for us yay anyway let's have a look at Xion's battle skill and stuff and hopefully it's, it is something good or really interesting to see all right i think it's done now let's see purple or retoso Xion. i guess is that is how you pronounce it uh, stats wise, pretty balanced, same as other, pretty good. And now let's have a look at force, protector of peace, determination of prosper, and pretty sparkle. Hmm, interesting. I don't know how she's gonna fit in those team, but protector of peace is definitely what she's gonna fit. Ooh, a single target focus? I guess is because she's water right and this protective piece focuses on a lot of waters battle trait um pretty meh yeah meh nothing interesting oh okay this is one is good protected gauge by five every three turns and seven if you have three more copies pretty good pretty good uh nothing interesting there and you need remedy to get the criminal damage okay now let's have a look at the skills. The first one we have is Melody of Luring Dusk, level 1. Rook point required 90, so 80 at level 10. Decrease all target secret skill damage resistance by 80%. Not bad, pretty good debuff. Increase own water attack by 10%. Effect increased by 5% each time allies use battle skill from the start of the battle to the end of turn 8. That is not bad, 73% attack or war attack in this case, where it is pretty good, pretty high. Now, it is that you have to use the battle skill right from the from the beginning to uh, turn 8, right? So that means she needs 60% more and each effect gives 5%, so 12 more battle skills to able to get to receive the 70. It should be easy to achieve that if you do it correctly and she will be the key for boss battle too <laughs> of course she's a single target dps and she's water that means she will deal more damage to the enemy yeah not bad and also secret skill resistant down 80 percent i guess it will be 100 if you level up to level 10 which is pretty good pretty high and with uh hinata and Rimuru buffing and debuff she will reach high scaling, uh, high damage, pretty good. Not only that, this skill is AoE, decrease all target secret skill, so an AoE debuff, real nice, good for Rimuru, and it can also be good for single target. Not bad, I kind of like this melody of Lurking Dust, pretty good skill. Next one, let's have a look. It is melody of refinement, um, so 15 skill points at level 10. Cast soul was skilled to generate water seeking souls. Oh, seeking souls. Um, damage scaling souls 50%. Increase own critical damage until end of the battle by 5%. Unlimited. So, this is the one you want to spam. Um, where do I have seen seeking souls before? 
it sounds something like Pretty Sparkle have something like that, but they have something which is invisible, right? Zigasaurs. I'm pretty sure we have a unit to have that skill. It is not a new mechanic for sure, but you can have a look. Um, it can be good, I think, or not really. 50% soul damage is alright. Not the best thing, but this is a thing you can spam as well. I don't know if this seeking soul can stack or it is one time. If it can stack, it will be nice, but otherwise, the critical damage can be stacked, which is good. So, yeah, uh, let's see. Let's have a look. I'm sure I have a unit that has that. Or is it. I, I, I don't remember. Let's have a look. Okay, found it, found it. So it was Mulan, the protector, a uh, bewitching bride. So yeah, it is not a new mechanic, it has been for before, but um, if you just look at this, I have not seen this protector being used uh, for all, most of the time when it comes to Heroes Play or other metas. Um, yeah, I mean, Seeking Souls is not bad, it's like extra damage for to the enemy, right? Um, yeah, he. So we we could say that Xion's second skill is like all right, a decent skill, pretty much. Time for her battle element gen. Will it be fun as in after, or will it be even better, or use some really nice animation? Okay, nice music she plays. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. Please, but I don't copyright. Ooh, ooh, I kind of like it. This is actually a really nice animation. Um, no more like explosion, of course, but this like music. That's all. Um, use a wave, a really nice small wave. But still a single target, of course. But yeah, not bad. Kind of like it. So overall, what do I think about Gion? Uh, she is pretty good, or pretty good for the protector. Uh, piece of course uh, in general I'm not sure uh, she basically same as the other character like Hinata here and Jimuru yeah those two yeah all three is like is specific for protector of peace um, yeah nothing else so the question is now will I summon on this meta after thinking for the couple days, couple weeks, two weeks now, and after seeing Hinata and Chion, I am pretty much gonna skip this meta for sure. That means yeah, I will be missing this dark Hinata. Um, I mean, it can happen. I already miss a lot of dark units, so it cannot happen for sure. Use that. Third anniversary is pretty pretty close. I used two months, less than uh, two months, of course. So this meta right now, the next meta, and after that it's gonna be the third anniversary. And also, I don't think I will have enough to get all three, uh, since I do need like around nine thousand or even more for protector uh, Masayuki and Rimuru, then I need 6,000 for Hinata and 6,000 for Xion, and that is the worst scenario, of course. So, the best safety bet is to save my magic crystal for third anniversary, that's all. Yeah, so I will miss all the best. I mean, if I was not free to play and I was a whale, I would, of course, summon because I really like the Rimuru outfit here. He's a king or general, really nice. Uh, definitely something I will wear uh, for the op open world but yeah this is gonna be sad to see it missing but as free to play and uh, we can't summon on every single meta of course unless you're really lucky it was if I was really lucky during my free ticket summoning the 20 if I got Rimuru I will probably continue but yeah but save the bet is yeah, try to skip that means I won't have Hinata, dark unit, I'm missing two Hinata now, that is dark. I will be missing Xion with her dress, really good, I really like it. But yeah, so overall, Xion is really good in her own force in this current meta 
for sure, but if you look at in other um, team that she can work on, I don't see that. Maybe in the future she can be good, but for now she will only be good in the Protector of Peace. And if I would summon on this meta, no, I won't. I would save my all Magic Crystal for now for the third anniversary. But yeah, that's for me. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Take care now and bye bye.